All right, what's up guys? Today I want to show you guys what came in today. It was my world's first belt as you see right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I just want to make this video saying thanks for 100K. I know it's like 10,000 late, but I care about you 10,000 people also, just let you guys know. Then I just want to talk about a few things, including this raid belt. Obviously, I couldn't do any of this without my teammates or any of you guys for the 100k subs. I appreciate it greatly. It's been a crazy year, crazy four years since I started playing Destiny seriously. A lot of things have happened, and overall, it's just been a crazy time. So Last Wish was definitely probably the most important raid to me in terms of our world's first. I personally have four along with Modern, then a lot of our, my friends have three. So I want to kind of tell you guys the backstory about all of this because a lot of you guys are new to my channel or weren't around back in these days. So back in House of Wolves, I started uh, speedrunning strikes and I got noticed by HMO5 and Flesh Crunch, who were a part of a team called uh, Hidden Machine. And I beat their fire team time solo in Tanix. So they asked me to join to speedrun with them, then also go for a world's first raid, which was King's Fall. And that went pretty poorly. We did do really well speedrunning, obviously, all the strikes every weekend whenever it was a nightfall. We pretty much held every strike record in the game at the time, and even some missions. Then also at the same time, there was another team speedrunning called Redeem, which was with like PVT Nuclear, Modern, Tifu, and all those people. And we competed with them pretty much every week, and it was a fun time, a lot of banter, a lot of shit talk, which obviously looking back is all hilarious because now we're all like really good friends and whatnot. And they were decent at going for World's First Raids too. I think their best finish ever before we merged was second place in Hard Mode King's Fall. And after that time, our clan started falling apart, which was Hidden Machine, and we didn't have a real leader at the time. And then also, Redeem was kind of like close to being pushed over the edge to become a world's first team. They felt like they still had a few weak players. One name led up to another, and next thing you know, Hidden Machine and Redeem merged into one team, and we took the name Redeem. And this was several months before the last expansion of Destiny 1 came out, which was Wrath Machine. And our goal as a merged team was to a continue speedrunning and b get world's first raids so the first raid that came out was wrath machine once we merged and the team was myself flesh modern pvt nuclear magnetic rubber then also tifu and this was our first raid all playing together and guess what we got world's first so that one definitely means a lot to me because it showed that the merge obviously worked our main goal which was to get world's first raid we obviously accomplished it on our very first attempt ever then after that, Prestige, or what was called a hard mode back then, Wrath Machine came out. Then I was working that day, so I wasn't part of it, but then I'm getting third place due to the famous glitch that happened to them in the Siege Engine. If you guys know about that, you know about that. Then the next raid I took part in was obviously Leviathan on Destiny 2 when it first came out. And we kind of threw that raid very hard. We could have had worlds first, but we just like had a mental block and completely messed up like 40 minutes before the actual worlds first happened and slayer and his team end up getting that which was actually really hype then the next raid was prestige leviathan and this was the first raid where a lot of the old redeem members stopped playing or stepped down and those people i'm talking about are pvt nuclear rubber then also tfu was playing br games at this time so this is the first raid where a lot of the new players that you guys know right now start playing with us which are people like indica sweat and obviously glad also during this raid, Flesh had to do something or I don't know what was up. So he got replaced too and we had Senior Snubby on our team. So this was the first raid with like the new lineup that we have today pretty much. And we ended up getting Worlds first there. So that was our second Worlds first as a team and with half of a new team. So that proved that our first Worlds first wasn't just pure luck. You know, we could repeat even with new players. So that one was definitely really important too. Then next up was Spire Stars Normal Mode, which was in my opinion the best raid layer by far. And once again, that was pretty much the same team that as the Prestige Leviathan, except with Flesh Crunch back in the lineup because he was obviously available. And that one we proved a lot too, because during that raid, at this time, Flesh was having major internet issues and his internet cut out uh, during the boss encounter. Like when we were like an hour or two into it, and we had to replace him because obviously we couldn't rely on his internet anymore. So we've got Eon in and we pretty much had to teach the entire raid encounter to Eon on the fly because we already were doing it for, you know, hour or two with Flesh. So we had to teach what Flesh was doing to Eon. And, you know, that obviously set us back quite a bit, but we still pushed through it and still end up getting worlds first and all that good stuff. <clears throat> so that was our third as a team. So that one was 
pretty important in my eyes because we showed that even with things going wrong, we could still, you know, hold together and push through it. Then obviously the last one, which is the fourth one, is Last Wish, the belt I just received. And obviously that was arguably the best raid Bungie ever made, the longest, the hardest, all that good stuff. So I don't think I even need to say much about that raid, I think you guys already all know about it. And that raid is obviously probably the most special just because of the sheer difficulty and the amount of time it took to actually get worlds first in that raid. So obviously I wouldn't have any of these belts without my teammates, even the teammates that never got worlds first with us back in Hidden Machine or even the OG Redeem. All those players that, you know, supported us and were in our teams at one point in time. We appreciate all of you guys and couldn't thank you guys enough. And obviously I thank all of you guys for 100k subs on YouTube. This past year has been crazy, like I said. And I hope this year and future years will be just the same, if not better. And I really gotta give a shout out to pretty much everyone from my YouTube channel because there's so many things I couldn't do with a lot of people. For example, just like Strike Bosses videos. I couldn't do that without Ember or Ice being there whenever I want. And they're always there for me. And then people like Flesh or like literally anyone from the community that reaches out to me on Twitter with like X perk on X weapon or a new exotic or whatever. Let me jump on their account for a video. And like just the other day when I make that all new perk video. I think I was on like four accounts for that video because it's hard to track down all the perks, right? All the new perks. And like several people from Redeem helped me uh, track down all the perks, helped me get on their account whenever I wanted. I just couldn't do it without all, all these people. So it's definitely not just me behind the scenes at all. Anyways, I think that's all I want to say for the video. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.